Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Martin with The Country Chemist. Can you tell what we're talking about today? I've been promising you guys this video for a while. So, here we go. I have tried and tested, oh man, I've lost count. Nine, technically like 14 tanners, self tanners. If you don't know, I'm a self tanning addict and I've been testing them for you guys. So here is my results video of my experimentation. And um, I hope it's helpful because we are definitely into self tanning season. I'm gonna share with you guys my favorites. If you wanna check them out, please keep watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for being here. Okay, friends, so I am coming at you barefaced. Um, I tanned last night so you guys can see what it looks like um, when all I did was got up and I washed my face and put my vitamin C on. That is all I've done. This is my tan from last night, and I'll tell you which one. See if you can guess which tanner I used after I talk about all of these. Okay, so. I want to preface this by saying the only safe tan is a tan from a bottle, okay? Um, if you guys did not know, this is Skin Cancer Awareness Month. Um, well, technically in a couple of days. If you don't know, it has been a little over a year since I had my melanoma surgery to remove mine. Um, my scar is doing pretty good actually, but if you can't see it is from here to here and it was looked pretty much just like that guy. So it was like right there and it was kind of scary. Um, I have been self tanning for probably over 10 years, but I will be honest. I used to live in the tanning bed, man. I regret that now. If only I knew than what I know now about skincare. Those of you that might be watching this that might not be getting your every six month mold checks, it's the only way mine got caught. Um, so important because it is so common. And let me tell you guys, I did not think that that one looked weird whatsoever. And I got really lucky that they caught it super early and yet they still had to take out part of my muscle. It can be a very scary thing. So. Use your self tanner, put your SPF on. Holy moly, I'm going to preach that forever. Okay, moving on. Let's talk tanners. So if you can't tell, I love a good tan and that's probably because I am super fair <laughs> normally, um, but I like the bronze glow, especially during this time of year. But if you don't know, I tan all year round. And I will be honest, the results of my little experimentation have changed my mind on what my favorite tanner was. Um, and I will never look at tan in the same way again, because I swear I didn't realize how different these were. Um, so here's kind of my process. All right. I used to just like, I tan full fully with one tanner and I'd kind of be like, oh, I like it or I don't like it, right? But I wanted to be able to share with you guys the nitty gritty if you're like trying to decide between two. I feel like um, not everybody's like me and like once nine self tanners, they just want one that works that does what they want it to do, right? So I'm talking a lot about undertone, longevity, instantaneous, all of those things. Um, and I'm gonna share you only ones that I tried that were like some of the highest reviewed um, on the market right now. Okay, I did face and I did body. Um, I will be honest though, pretty much all of my body ones are foam because that is my preference. When I discovered a foam, it was like night and day. Um, lotions I find harder because they tend to streak. Um, and it's harder to get them really even 
in my opinion. Now, granted, I used a lotion for years, but once I discovered a foam and a mitt, I, it changed the game for me. And so that is all I will use from now on. Okay, so let's do face real quick. And I took lots of pictures along the way that I will <laughs> insert so that you guys can see kind of my process. But let's go over the, I tried five different face tanners. Okay, now when it comes to face tanners, um, you can use any of these foams on your face. And I have done that for years. Um, my preface is definitely using a face brush like this. Um, I find though, I don't know if you can tell, but looking at my face, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation and my neck has no freckles and yet I have a lot of freckles on my face. So I naturally get darker where I have the most freckles, makes sense. And my face pulls way darker than the rest of my body when I use a foam on my face. So even though I have it, it works just fine. I don't anymore. I prefer a serum. Um, and I prefer something that I can kind of use in my skincare regimen so I'm not having to skip my regimen on nights I use my skincare, right? Okay, so you guys have heard me talk about some of these before, so I'm just going to talk about each one very briefly um, since I've, you guys probably know what my favorites are. Okay, I did pick up a new one. And this was because it was highly reviewed, like five star reviews. The brand of what was my favorite at the moment, Self Tanner, which is a St. Moritz, 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 I don't know how to say it. So this is the Radiant Glow Face Mist, Sun-Kissed Complexion, Aloe Vera and Vitamin E. Okay, so this is hydrating as well. All right, so what I did was I swatched them all on my lovely, really white legs that have not been tanned yet this season. And I did them all pretty concentrated so that I can see if there was any differential in color. Um, now I have tested this on my face. I feel like it is a very gradual tan. Um, so pros and cons. So the St. Moritz, I do like for a gradual tan, super easy to just kind of spray. Um, but you have to be careful. You can't wear white. It can stain stuff. Um, so you could like step into the shower and spritz it real quick. Um, or just be careful and not wear a white t-shirt while you're doing it. I would say my biggest con for this is that the instructions. So if you, obviously you want to read the instructions of any product you get, um, the best results are you have a clean dry face you spritz it on clean dry skin and that's it you're not supposed to apply anything after so i like to self tan um at in the morning um but i like i want i thought that this would be a good product to say like when i've exfoliated my face a lot and i feel like my face is kind of fading um i can easily just kind of spritz this at night go to bed but I can't, it says for eight hours. It takes eight hours to develop. You're not supposed to put anything on your skin. And yes, it's got vitamin E and, vitamin e and aloe to kind of hydrate. But to me, that's not hydrating enough for an overnight regimen. Um, I need to put my overnight, like my nighttime moisturizer on so that I'm not waking up with dry patchiness or, you know, drier skin. So that I feel like is the biggest con for me, the fact that I can't put skincare on over it. I thought it would be something I could easily spritz on, put on my skincare. So what have I been using it for? Can you guys guess? <laughs> I really like this for my hands and feet. <laughs> um, because I can just easily put my hand in the sink, spritz it on, I can kind of use my brush to kind of you know, bend my knuckles. Can you tell? I maybe didn't get them really good last night and get in between my fingers and kind of disperse it and kind of blend it in. If you don't know, my hands do not ever tan it like the rest of my body. It's just kind of an issue I have. Even if I use the same self tanner, it never, they never get as dark. 
Um, so this to me is like a nice, I can just kind of spritz, spritz and um, my feet too, I have issues with as well. I will get into that when we get to the foams, but um, I do like it. I wouldn't give it five stars due to the fact that I can't use my skincare. And as a skincare junkie, that's not okay with me. Um, I guess you could use it in the morning, but you're supposed to do it on dry skin. Again, I couldn't apply anything. And then if I put my SPF on over that, like there's just no good time to not put something on my face, at least for me personally. Okay, so next on the swatch list was the Sublime Bronze, which this is the brand that I used for 10 years. Um, but L'Oreal came out with their um, facial drops, which has hyaluronic acid. This is the reason I love the serums and the drops so much is because the skincare is already in it. This is hydrating enough for me. This is not, um, unless I was just to load up with it, which um, then I might have different issues on my hand. So this one, you mix with your moisturizer. It's easy to do, day or night. You can mix it with your SPF in the morning or at night with your overnight cream and then you wake up with a glow. To me, that's just, I don't know, maybe it's just because I love the glow that these give way more. So I shared before, um, since you guys, the exact same thing as this is the Isle of Paradise ones, the green and the purple, which are the last two swatches. I've used both of these. Green is supposed to be medium, purple is supposed to be dark. These are all used in the same way. You mix them with the moisturizer. Um, this is meant for just the face. These are, you can use them on the body as well. Mix it with your lotion. I had said before that I feel like these aren't the same darkness, but in the swatches, I just put them on heavily. No moisturizer mixed with it, okay? So, as you can tell, there's not a whole lot of difference. Um, I can barely see a difference between the medium and dark. In fact, in some lights, I feel like in the picture of my after pictures, the purple is pulling darker. Um, when I used it on my face, I swear I would get darker results with the green. In some lights, when I was looking at my swatches, the green looked darker. I feel like they're pretty even. So, you know, whatever your preference is. The green is supposed to be better for redness, and the purple is supposed to be more brightening. At least that's what the Sephora people told me as well. Okay. Um, the other one in there is the Tenacious. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So this is like a hyaluronic serum meant for hydration and moisture with tanner in it. These I feel like are more like tanner and this has got a little bit of hyaluronic. So this is definitely the most moisturizing of the bunch. Um, you don't mix this one at all. This one's just kind of grab and go. I love this one to use before my overnight cream, and I feel like it works very similarly. So just kind of a preference. Um, you can tell in the swatches the difference between all five. So a little bit of summary on the face facial. Last night, I stuck with my ride or die. I will still continue to use this green one and the Tenacious at night. Those are when I need it. Those are my two favorites still. It didn't change. Okay, well, now let's move on to body. All right, so I've got nine mousse style self tanners for your body. And um, let's just say I use the same tools. I can link below some of my um, tips and tricks for the perfect tan that I did over on Instagram. Um, pretty much, I love my elastic mitt. microfiber mitt. If you don't have, if you've never tried one of these, this is a game changer. I love this for hands and feet. By far, um, will get me the best results for my hands and feet. And for my back, I always use a larger version of that with the straps to shimmy down my back and give me an even tan without needing my husband. So those are my tools I use for all of these. I've tested all of these 
individually, like just wearing them. And then on my really white leg for you guys. So pretty much what I did is I took my really white leg, I squirted a very small amount onto that patch of my leg, and I used a mask brush to brush it on in a square light formation. You can tell I obviously wasn't very good at that. And then if there was any excess, I kind of used my mitt to kind of like pull off excess so I wouldn't streak and run down my leg. That was my process. Um, I also did them all on a white sheet of paper and just let them dry so you could see the undertones. Now, this sheet looks different than the original, which I will put in here because once it dries, you'll see the undertone looks different. But for the most part, this is the order uh, on my legs so that I can remember which one was which to talk about. Okay, let's just start with some good old drugstore, okay? Jergens. Now, this is the only one in the bunch that is in light, okay? That is because this is the one I like to use on my face since my face pulls darker than the rest of me. Okay, now I have tried the medium and the dark on my body. The is really good. Um, I feel like it's easy to blend. It does have a very distinct odor. I feel like all of Jergens tanning products kind of smell this way. I don't know if it's like their signature scent. So if you don't like scents, you might not like this one. Um, I wouldn't say it smells bad, but I wouldn't say I love it either. Um, but this one is really great for a beginner because especially if you get like the light bronze color, if you've never tanned before, you're just getting into it, start off the lighter and you can always go darker and I'll explain kind of why <laughs> in a minute when we get to one of them and some issues I had. So this one always blends really well. The bronze color, this gives a very light golden, um, if you can tell on the picture. So the goldenness, if you have hyperpigmentation, especially like me on my face, that's why I use this color on my face. Um, with any hyperpigmentation, a self tanner, the DHA is going to make your hyperpigmentation darker. That's kind of the nature of tanner. It will pull everything darker, not just the skin around it. But a golden bronze will make your hyperpigmentation look less dark, less obvious um, than some of the other colors that are more olive or red or deeper. And I'll show you guys that in a minute. So. This one's really great for beginners. It blends well. It does smell a little bit. Um, but it is a very easy application. So this one does come out instantly with some bronze. It does have a bronzer in it. Um, but at this level of the light bronze, it's not going to give you a super like instantaneous dark tan. It's just a little bit of color. So as you can tell in the picture, it's just barely, it's just barely any color in that one, okay? But I do love this one for the face. So, to my surprise, this, you guys, have has been probably my go-to tanner all winter long. I've been using this. So, if you ask me what tanner I was wearing, um, I use it often because I am an all-year tanner and I tan every three days like clockwork because it is cheap, it works, and application is very easy with this one. I never have to worry about like trying to rub it in and get it blended well. I never have streaks, I never have it. Um, one of the biggest things for me is wear time. Like after you wear it for a couple days when you start getting like splotchy and it starts like wearing off in patches. This one doesn't do that for me. Okay, normally the the label's white, but it this one spilled in transit thanks to Amazon Prime. Okay, so it's under 10 bucks usually. You can find it at Ulta as well. I love this, this is the St. Moritz in dark. 
Um, I've also used the medium and I, I've also used the medium on my face and it works really well. Again, read labels. This is one that you're, this is an instant bronze, which I love. Um, and I'll share one that isn't instant if that, if you like to tan at night. Um, I usually tan in the morning, so I want an instant glow. Um, this is one that you're supposed to wait four to six hours and then wash it off. Okay. So it will wash off that immediate bronzer, but then it'll be left with the tanner that has developed. I don't, I can smell a little bit, but I feel like it doesn't smell like anything. Um, it isn't odorless though. Okay. It has, but I've, I've worn this for so long. I never feel like it has that DHA smell that a lot of tanners have. Um, but I find this one of the easiest ones to use. Um, it gives a very bronze color. Okay. So, um, I would say very golden. It's definitely more goldy. <laughs> goldy. I don't know how to describe these colors, guys. Definitely more of a golden tan. Um, it does. I used to think it had green undertone, which it does have a little bit, if you can tell from the, the cap. But really, when it dries, it doesn't have much green. And it is not at all in comparison to some of these other ones that are very green. So this one is one of the best for, I'd say, newbies. Um, it's really instant color. It, it dries immediately so you can get dressed, which is another reason why I like it because I like to literally tan, get dressed, and leave. And um, and it doesn't streak. So this is a great one for beginners as well. If you don't want the dark, start with the medium. That one works just as well. It's just a little bit lighter in color. So my surprise was that after, if you look at the picture of my after, after three days and washing it off, this is probably why I've been self tanning every three days, like clockwork. After three days, it was almost like nothing was there. So longevity, I would say, would be uh, the biggest con for this. Okay, so the next one is Tenacious. You guys hear me talk about this one all the time. Um, this one surprised me when I swatched it at the color. So I've always, it does have a very green undertone. Um, it's more olive-y brown. So if you like that olive, I feel like olive is very natural looking on almost all skin tones. Like it will never pull too orange or anything like that. It's going to give you a very green based tan, right? Which look more natural. I know I've had a lot of clients that are like, oh my gosh, they tr finally try this and they love it. It's their favorite um, because it looks so natural. So this one is odorless. So if t the smell of DHA bothers you, this one is one to go with. It does not smell at all. And this one actually has like good skincare ingredients in it. So it will firm your skin over time, which who doesn't want this that? This one also blends really well. So this one is one that I tend to, I'll show you my issues with my feet. <laughs> that sounds bad. Um, I don't consider myself to have dry skin. Like I never use a barrier cream. Um, if you don't know what a barrier cream is, that's pretty much some tanners will tell you, use a barrier, you have dry skin. So like elbows, knees, feet, ankles, that kind of stuff where the product will absorb more and then that area becomes much darker than the rest and you don't get an even tan, you get a splotchy tan, right? So we wanna avoid that. There are certain ones that need barrier creams, um, no matter your skin, I feel like, because I don't consider myself to have dry skin, but holy moly, did I tell a difference with some. So this is one I can apply to my feet no, to my legs. I feel like it tans really well and it doesn't, it's not uneven ever. Okay. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me, but my legs do not tan the same as my arms do. Um, or my feet. Like I swear they're like all three completely different skin colors and types or something. Um, but I have that issue of trying to get like a, like a consistent tan across my entire body. 
This is one that I feel like I can grab. And like if I'm going to the pool and I want my legs to match the rest of me, my feet to not be splotchy and weird, this is the one I'm gonna grab. So one that doesn't streak or break up as well. So the next one was a, was a spontaneous purchase based on reviews only. I saw that it had five star reviews and I hadn't heard of this one, um, but I had been asked by a lot of you guys if I had tried this line and so I went a little crazy and I bought three of them. Okay, so Bondi Sands, okay? This one is made in Australia. I'd heard good things and I don't know why. I had never tried it before. Um, so I got a bunch at Target. Um, I think you can even get it at like Walgreens or CVS or something. Yeah, I wanted to try it. Okay, since I am a morning tanner, you'll notice all of them have bronzer in them. Okay. So the thing about bronzer is if you are brand new to tanning and you're not used to really like having to blend and, you know, apply it evenly, I recommend a bronzer um, because you're not going to be able to see where you've applied, where you've missed. And that bronzer in it not only will give you that instant gratification of a tan because it will instantly give you color but it's there to help you make sure you don't miss a spot, okay? So that is always and forever my choice because I'm a morning tanner um, and I like to be able to just put it on, go, and I already have some color. Um, I will say I in the summer, it's not always the best option. If you know you are going to be like, say for me, sitting out in a hot baseball game, like 90 to 100 degree heat, I'm not gonna tan and then go straight there with something with a bronzer in it because what happens when you sweat, it's going to make that bronzer streak. Um, it's also something you don't wanna like tan and then say, give your kids a bath. I've done that and you'll just have streaks of water down your arms okay so don't go do the dishes nothing like that um bronzer will streak okay um obviously if it's already developed and then you you can go wash it off and then you won't have that issue but if you are one that likes to tan at night and wake up with your bronze glow because most of these um are like about about an eight hour uh development then you can easily tan, wake up, shower, and you're good to go. There are even like things you can put on your sheets so you won't transfer. But I would say my biggest suggestion, if you are not a newbie at tanner and you want to tan at night and don't have to worry about like, like I have white sheets. I'm not going, like I never have transfer or anything like that, but I don't tan and then immediately get in bed. So if you're going to, and you're not new, and you feel like you can get it blended well, this one is awesome. Okay, it's clear. All of these are, you know, have bronzer, but this one, okay, maybe that was a bad example. It looks green, but this one, I swear, it goes on clear. Now, whew, if you do not like the smell of coconuts, just stay away from the entire Bondi Sands line. I personally, it's one of my favorite smells ever. I think this smells like literally a sun, like a suntan in a bottle, like a vacation, because it smells like straight up coconuts. I love it. If you don't like scents, all of these are coconut scented that I got. I'm not sure if they have any that aren't, but this one's really good. It's just clear. I am a seasoned tanner and I still found this a little bit harder to apply because I'm like, I can't see. Um, but otherwise, this one surprised me. So if you see, it literally went on with no color, no instant gratification, but I'm shocked at the after pictures of after a few days, how well this lasted on my skin. So. This one, I would say once it's developed, it's not as dark. It's more of a light 
Um, this one does not, that's maybe that's why I just realized this one is not called dark or anything. It's just called liquid gold it will develop into a golden tan. That's probably why it's not very dark, but this thing lasted. So not as dark, it's a light golden tan. It's a beautiful natural looking tan. Um, I like the smell. The longevity was amazing, but this is, would be my choice. If you are a nighttime tanner, I think you'd really like this one. So since I tried that one, I had to go and get like the original dark self tanning foam. Um, this one is also coconut scented, but it's got that bronzer in it so that you can easily see. Um, I feel like this one is most comparable to the St. Moritz that I've been using for so long. But once it's fully developed, um, it's more of a olivey brown tan and reminds me more of the tenacious tan. Otherwise, I would say it went on very similarly, similarly to this one. Um, the price point is really good if you're looking to try. And it was a, it was a good color as well. Okay, so a lot of you were asking me about this one, which again, had really high reviews. Now this is their Arrow. Okay, let me just say, I've been using a foam mousse style for years. This one technically is called a foam, so different. First of all, do not make the mistake I did and not shake this can so well it will come out and it's like a lot um it has more of like a this kind of at this kind of situation let me just show you guys i'm gonna shake it this time if you let's see if it does it okay it comes out as like a very different consistency like more of like a foam, I don't know, a thicker foam. How about that? Um, I found it more difficult to apply, but maybe that's just because I'm used to this other formulation. Um, and then I had the mishap of getting like it liquid, liquefied, it came out liquefied. And okay, so I tried the ultra dark because somebody told me that that was the one to get. Um, let me just say this one. I don't even know if this picture will do it justice. Okay. This is the arrow. This one is an ultra dark. Maybe I would like it more in just dark, but I found it to have a, the most extreme green undertone. Like a lot of these, I like an olive undertone. This one is very olive. And maybe it's just because it's ultra dark. It was too dark for my skin tone. So that's one thing to kind of note, like if you're starting like, you know, already tan ish, um, it's very easily to like kind of go up in color. So when I used this on my arms, I didn't see an issue. Now it goes on and it looks straight up green, but the green kind of goes away as um, it absorbs and it starts developing. So that wasn't a big deal. But the immediate factor isn't very pretty compared to some of the bronzier colors. Um, but my issue, I think, was, I don't know if it was more the formulation or the color, was that it wore off spotty, okay? So I'll insert some pictures to kind of show you guys. One of the darkest instantaneously, obviously, because it's ultra dark. I just think the formulation is harder for me to apply. Um, it says it's a lightweight aerosol foam. Um, maybe I would like the dark instead of the ultra dark. Um, I'm curious if that one... I mean, this one was also olive, so I'm guessing maybe the dark and the arrow would be kind of in between the two. But I just found this formulation to be harder to apply. But maybe if you're brand new, just don't get the ultra dark. Um, it 
looked really funky on my legs, which were super white. Um, but on my arms, it didn't look bad once the color developed. If you don't like a, a olive undertone, you won't like this one. Okay. So they were out of the one I wanted to try from this line, um, but I got this one instead. There was actually quite a few really highly reviewed ones from this line, and I'd seen this line before at Walmart and always wanted to grab it, but I, I, I tend to not grab stuff if I don't look at reviews first because I don't want to waste my money, and they're like 10 bucks a bottle, but that adds up, right? So um, I looked at reviews and I ordered this one, which it doesn't say like dark, mean whatever it has like five little things and it's up to three okay that's the darkness level this is the b tan forever and ever by b tan okay if you can tell on the picture okay this one is a little bit more of a thinner consistency mousse um which tripped me up a little bit in at the beginning but i uh, shockingly love this um so now i want to try the other one that was sold out so um, the color, I don't know what it is. It just, it's not very green. It's not very bronzy. It's just like a really nice deep brown. I don't know how else to describe it. Brown. If you look in the picture, um, the instant tan of this, I thought was my, was good. But the next day was my favorite color. If I had to pick all of them based on color, this one, the, the within 24 hours, was my favorite. Now this one that, this is the forever and ever, it's supposed to last 11 days. Now when I tested it like on my body and did like everything, I felt like it did last longer. But when I did my little swatch test on my leg, I don't, it doesn't look like it did. So um, maybe it's just because I have no base tan on my legs and it will last longer over a darker skin tone. I'm not sure, but um, I do really like the color of this one. I'll continue to use it for sure. Ultra long lasting. I will, and I want to pick up the original one. They have a lot of them. Um, so check out the reviews to see which one. Um, but I really liked the line. For $10, I felt like it was very comparable. I didn't notice a scent with this one either. So that's good. Okay, so for the most part, um, most of those are, are pretty reasonable in price. Or you, um, These next two are the most expensive, I would say. Um, this one I was asked to test because you guys have been seeing it all over Instagram. Now, I will say, somebody messaged me and said, this one's supposed to remove cellulite. And I was like, well, I would spend a million dollars a bottle if that happened. But yeah, you need no. U-shape formula to hydrate and firm skin. Okay, well, I'm sure it just has skin firming ingredients. Well, Pigmentation and perfect skin, green, gray base, golden glow, no orangey tones, develops in two hours. So this is another one. It's called Coco and Eve, Sunny Honey, Bali Bronzing Foam. This one's in dark, does smell like coconut, smells great. I do love the smell. This one was the most surprising for me. Uh, this is the one I'm wearing right now, okay? So if you look at the picture, you can tell it's got a very like deep golden bronze. Um, it says it has a green gray base, but it does have green in it. I can tell that um, from the way that the swatch um, dried. It does, but it turns very bronzed. Like when they call it Bali bronzed from I totally agree. The instantaneous factor is dark. And if you look at the three days later, it is probably the best or one of the best as far as longevity. So I've been grabbing this because it, I can go longer than three days or tanning. So I really love that. I'm having no issues with my arms. 
um, at all where I already have color. Um, my biggest issue with this one is my feet. And I'll insert pictures. So I love the way it goes on my legs, no problem. But this one gets funky on like those areas that might kind of start breaking up at about that three day mark. So that being said, yes, I still have plenty of color at three days when I usually exfoliate it off. In fact, it's hard to exfoliate it fully off with my um, mitt. But certain areas get a little patchy to where I need to so that I can reapply. So my only issue is my feet right now. And so I would say this one is awesome, but use a barrier cream. Just using a barrier cream around the ankles, feet, or you know, um, really being careful with application. I feel like the darker you go or the darker yours pulls, the more careful you have to be with application. So when you're applying, when I'm applying this on my feet, I'm gonna be much more careful with this and I'm not just gonna kind of slap it on or just use my mitt, which is what I did once, which is why you can see it didn't cover everything. It just looks like I missed half my feet. Yeah, that's why. So be more careful with the darker ones because you're gonna be able to see your mistakes. I think that goes without saying, but just so you know, this one's darker. I love the color. Um, I really do like this one a lot and I like that when I shower it off it's still nice and dark and I don't have to apply it as this much. one that develops in two hours as well which is nice so that if you're like you know not having to wait all day in order to shower it and wash it off wash off the bronzer this one does have a really good bronzer it will make you pretty dark right away you can leave it on longer for a deeper tan so I like the kind of um, utility with that one. All right, we're down to the last one. This is one that was my go-to last year, and I kind of wanted to compare it and see um, the difference. Um, this is Loving Tan. So this is the Two Hour Express. They have some that aren't. So this is very similar, I would say, to this one. This one will straight up tell you it's an olive color, um, quick dry, and it has that bronzer in it. So this picture is not at all what it looks like. If you see the original one, it dries very olive, but it comes out very red undertoned, okay? Can you see how red that is? Okay, so it's, to be honest, it's not my favorite straight out of the bottle on um, for my instantaneous factor. It's, it's too red, a red undertone for my skin tone. I have a lot of red in my skin anyway. So it is olive and it will turn olive, but it originally pulls very warm. So know that it is very dark though. Um, and this is the dark, it says for medium to dark skin tones. I'm sure the old, you know, the darker one is even darker. But it is definitely a deeper color, but it's got that natural, more red under undertone. I liked the, you know, the instant darkness um, because it's just that two hour. I would say this has a little bit of a smell to it. Um, not bad, but not coconut or anything like that. This is an Australian one. I would say, though, this is another one like this one that I will go to for a nice, deep tan that's not going to pull funky over those problem areas like my knees and my feet. This one um, is what I was, I would kind of would like use my cheap one during the week or whatever. And then when I knew I was going to be like at the pool or the beach or whatever and needed my, my lower extremities to look well, um, this is the one I would reach for. Um, so these two are probably my favorite for kind of like a uh, nonsense. You're not going to have to do extra work. Have to worry about really exfoliating those areas or using a cream first and letting that absorb and then putting it on. 
Um, these two are really good for those problem areas and always getting a street free even tan. Okay, I think I covered it all. <laughs> I hope you guys can tell from my pictures, the undertones, which I feel like are totally personal preference, depending if you like more bronzy tones, more green tones. If you already have a very green under, like olive undertone to your skin, you might not need more olive. Um, if you have a red undertone, those green tones actually balance your skin. So I feel like you're always safe with the bronzy um, or the brown tones. Um, I didn't feel like any of them were very orangey. Um, so I feel like that kind of technology, we're at the point, you know, that like orangey tans are no longer something that we have to worry about that was like formulations 20 years ago. So, so I hope this helped you get started. If you're looking for a new self tanner to try this summer, whether you're just starting out and you want to try a cheap, easy one that's going to go on with no streak, no fuss, or you're looking for those perfect beach legs, or you're wanting that deep, dark tan, want to try something new. Um, you like the scented or, you know, being able to slap it on going to bed. Um, I feel like there's a place for certain ones at different times, at least for me, because I'm kind of a junkie, but um, I hope that at least helped you guys see some differences between these. If you have a favorite, like I'm talking you have a holy grail self tanner without fail, like holy grail covers all the bases that I just talked about, please drop it in the comments. <laughs> I'm always going to be trying new stuff. So just because these are the only ones that came in in time for me to fully test properly, I'm sure there will be more, but I hope that helped. I will put links to everything I talked about in the description box below and happy tanning. Thanks for being here and I love you guys.